Hey, America. So, you caught some, you caught some fish. You got them loaded into the cooler. Now you're gonna ask yourself, hey, self, what do I do with these fish now? Well, I'm gonna show you what I do with them. I'm gonna walk you through how I fillet my fish. It's pretty quick, it's pretty easy. Let me show you what I have here. First and foremost, <laughs> this thing, I was uh, stuck on old school for quite a while. A few years ago, I switched over to this electric fillet knife. I'll tell you what, I don't care how many fish I bring home now. I, I can get right through them in no time at all, and uh, it just makes, makes life easier. A good fillet knife, this is actually a little boning knife that I got, but it's super sharp, and it's got thin enough of a blade that it'll serve its purpose just perfectly. It's super sharp. A container for your fillets. And a bucket for your waste products, which are all your, you know, all your bad stuff. And you should never forget a beverage, just in case you get thirsty. Stay hydrated, America. It's very important. Okay, so let's get to work. So with an, with an electric knife, you do it a little bit differently. Traditionally, you would follow the rib cage down and then come through and finish your fillet out. With this guy, you get under that fin, cut down to just to the bone. Roll your blade over and follow this dorsal fin and this fin all the way down. And you get the feel for it eventually, and there's your meat. And you just trim it off, just like so. And then do the other side. Follow that dorsal fin right down to the tail. Not, don't, don't, do not cut it off. Roll it over. There's your fillets. Pretty, pretty well done. There's not much meat left at all. Then I take my fillet knife, follow these ribs right down, and then I'll just cut around them. This goes in the trash. And here's my fillet. Let's do a few more. Normally what I'll do is I'll let these pile up and then I'll cut the ribs out of a bunch of them at one time. Eventually, you're going to mess one up. Let's say, okay, so let's say, let's say you cut too deep. So you get in there and you cut too deep, and, and then you try to go down the down the deal. Okay, you can see. Okay, you've come through. You've gone through the other side. So what you can do is just flip it around. You're going to lose a little bit of meat this way, but you can still salvage the salvage the fillet if you go from the tail up. So I'm going to get here close to my board so I can get my knife good and flat. And let the knife do the work and just fall it right up from the tail up. This is kind of a hard way to do it, but you're going to save your fillet. See, there it is. So you just get your finger on there nice and tight. You cut it off of there. So you can still salvage the fillet, even if you cut through and you, and you get it wrong. So you're, you're not going to... You're going to you're gonna screw them up so bad you're going to lose a few fillets here and there. It happens, but don't worry about it. It happens. Once you 
once again, cut these ribs out just like so, get nice and close to them, and just follow them around, just like that. A good sharp knife really helps with this. Back to this one, right down the ribs there, and you're done. So no time at all. We have a nice bowl of fillets, crappie, and a few blue you'll throw in with them as well. A friend of mine from up in Michigan, Jim Rummer. I bet you're watching this. He brought some fillets to deer camp last year, and they were perch, and they were perfectly filleted. I'm calling you out, Jim. I want you to do a little tutorial on how you cut your perch up. I'm, gonna stand, I'm just gonna stand here and wait till they're ready. <laughs> so, anyway, that's how I do it. Well, right or wrong, so take these inside, get them cleaned up, and they will be ready for the fish fry. Probably my adult children will be showing up to eat, and I think we're gonna enjoy some fish. Maybe we'll show some pics of that. Thanks, America. Catch you next round. Oh! There will be an affiliate link below in the description. If you want to get one of these knives for yourself, you might as well get it from me. It's an Amazon affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more and I get a little bit of a kickback from it. And any proceeds that come to me by way of this channel are going to go towards bringing better content to you as time goes on. So if you're going to get something like that, click below. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. And quit picking your nose.